The next panel on the contextual ribbon for feature lines is called Edit Geometry. This is where you can control the horizontal geometry of the feature line. So the first button is Insert a PI. A PI is a point of intersection. When the button is clicked, you can see it's rubber banding between PIs where you can put a new insertion point. I'll just pick one so we can get one in there. And then it, it asks you at this point for an elevation. So I'm gonna give it an elevation of, of 10 just to give it something. And it will continue to prompt you for more PIs until you enter through the command. If you look at the command prompt, you'll see it's asking for a distance or an increment. These are very useful. If we insert PIs at increments, of say 50 feet between each point, it will put PIs every 50 feet along this feature line. That's useful for many different things when you're trying to create more tin triangles in a surface. The next button is delete PI and it's exactly what it sounds like. You go in and you can delete any of the PIs that we created that you may not want. The next is break. Now feature lines cannot be edited with any of the AutoCAD commands. It has to be edited with the contextual ribbon commands. And all of these are typical AutoCAD commands like break and trim and join. They're basically duplicated, but this is specifically for a feature line. So if I hit break and I pick two points in the feature line, I've now created two separate feature lines. The next is trim. I want to pick a cutting edge and then pick the feature line and it allows me to trim it right to that edge. Join will connect them. So you can take them and, and move the grips so that they connect together, but they're still two separate feature lines. So if I want to join two feature lines together, that command will do it. Then I can go in and delete a PI that cleans up that join point. Reverse reverses the direction just, just like it sounds like. And as you can see in the pop-up example, if you're using a feature line to show a bearing in distance or you're wanting to show a grade going down the slope and your feature line was drawn left to right and you want it to be right to left, you just use this to reverse the slope. The next command is edit curve. I can change the radius. Since this is a tangent curve, there are it's sort of locked out for the things that I can do, but I can arrow through all of the curves on this single feature line. Next is fillet. It works just the way regular fillet works, except this works on the feature line. The next command is fit curve. This will fit a curve between two points on the feature line. It basically just replaces the line segments with a curve that fits between those two points. The next button is smooth. This one replaces the line segments with arcs. It works a lot like spline for a regular polyline. The next button is called weed. This weeds unnecessary points from a feature line or a polyline. You can see I added a whole bunch of internal points and if I want to weed them out, I can say I want to take out, every, I want to take out the points but every 25 feet. So you can see it reduced the number of the number of dots along those lines. I can weed it further by increasing this length to 50. And that helps simplify feature lines and simplify surfaces if you've got a lot of points. And the final command on the edit geometry is stepped offset. Stepped offset works exactly like the old create curb command in LAN desktop. And this works very well for the feature line that I happen to have chosen, which is a curb around some parking spaces. If I want to create a feature line at the back of curb and the front of curb, I can use stepped offset. So stepped offset, I pick the distance, but I can, I can type it in. I'm going to type in it's six inches, half a foot. I pick the side that I want it to be. And then the elevation difference will be six inches or half a foot or four inches if it's a four inch curb. And now I've created, I'll zoom in, now I've created 
a direct offset with a vertical difference. And we can see this in Object Viewer. We can see the vertical difference between the two feature lines. And that concludes the Edit Geometry panel of the Feature Line Contextual Ribbon.